A group of all black female psychologists created their own company with two main goals break down stigma around mental health in the black community and get more representation in the therapy world. They each bring their own expertise and talk to Hope Forward about their mission in tonight's Voices for Equality. This is a pivotal scene in the TV show, This Is Us. There are things, Dr. Lee, that I don't feel comfortable talking to you about. In the scene, Randall, the adult child adopted into a white family, makes an interesting revelation. Feeling unable to talk to his current therapist about things impacting him on a racial level, he makes the decision to see someone more like him. I'm gonna make a change and find a black therapist. It's a scene I recently talked about with not one, but four psychologists. I was like, yes, yes, yes to them showing that scene because to have this black man advocate for himself was like huge because oftentimes that's not what we see. Dr. Nicole Kamek, Dr. Daniel Busby, Dr. Dana Cunningham, and Dr. Jessica Henry, four female therapists of color who know about a long-standing gap in America's mental health culture. With what, like 3% or 4% uh, nationally uh, black psychologists, people would say to me, I've never seen a black psychologist. Or like, you know, you get the surprise, like, wait, you're you're the therapist? Oh, I didn't expect that. So they banded together to fix it, creating a company called Black Mental Wellness. Their goal, grow a strong nationwide mental health network for the black community. Statistically, only one in three black adults who need mental health care receive it. The reasons vary. Mistrust in healthcare is at the top of the list, but stigma in the black community as it relates to mental health care is a close second. So we hear about it in our households. We hear about it through our families. Family members. I know you hurt. Deal with it. Get out here, smile, get it together. Ain't nothing wrong with you. You know, that's a sign of weakness. I shouldn't like even be complaining about a problem, right? Because other people have experienced far, far worse things than me. We have to redefine what we you know, call strength. So fighting mistrust and stigma is one of their goals. But even if those two obstacles didn't exist, there's still an elephant in the room, access. And I think the insurance piece is a big one. Um, uh, time, transportation. And the need for mental health services in the black community is growing, due in part to racism and videos of black men dying. What we saw was that our numbers increased. Oftentimes when people think about PTSD, they think of other incidents, right? Like, and they're not really thinking about racial, racial stressors and trauma. More access means there's a need for more black therapists. It's why the group of women mentor minority college students like Spelman grad Taja Pinkert, who want to become psychologists. We have outlets to connect people to therapists of color and psychologists. It's still so difficult to actually match people because the need is so large. Pinkert had her own Randall-like moment during her journey through therapy. My therapist that I've had, it was a white woman. Coming to Spelman, like in HBCU, it did become more apparent to me, you know, maybe I would like to see somebody else. Therapy is universal, but that doesn't mean it's universally the same. These doctors hope by creating more representation and access, there's more moments of realization. I believe that it's important for us to bring not only mental health services, but the highest quality of services to the black community. We are Where Atlanta Speaks, and that includes uplifting every voice. Check out our other Voices for Equality stories on 11alive.com.